so now shell is limited as you can see these are the things that you can do you can download you can upload you can do certain things and a metasploit shell gives you more control into it so we're going to try to convert actually shell into meter preter now that we have a session and it's a shell we can background it and we're going to look for the shell to meter preter and use this so now that we have it all it needs is the session so because already we have a shell and we background it we just have to point the session into the one that we have so in order to look at what sessions you have you just type sessions and you see the id is one so now you can set session to one and this is actually going to run as soon as you run it it's going to try to attempt to convert the shell into meter preter immediately and give you another actually session but it has to be with meter preter as well so typing exploit and typing run there's a bit of difference when you use these commands we're trying to show you the differences you have to make sure as well to put the correct values for the L host and put your local IP if you're doing this locally or your external IP and opening the correct ports for it in your firewall or router in order to give external access. So now that we have set up the L host, we're going to try to exploit it. And you can see here it started a TCP handler on the port that we just defined on 4433. It sends the stage and now you have a meter preter session as well. So now you have the choice to choose between shell and meter preter. So now we're going to try to get the meter preter as well session. You can see here we're already in it and typing sysinfo gives you more details. So this is very important when you're working because when you have some time limited accesses, you need to understand how to upgrade this into something stronger like converting the shell into meter preter. So typing help is going to give you all of the commands that you can see here and it's gonna give you all of the processes that are running so you see there are more control more commands to do when you use a meter preter shell versus a, just a regular shell that you get in the beginning which was easy to attempt to do so as you can see when you exploit the service depending on the type you could get a shell and if you want to upgrade it now you can see how to upgrade shell into meter preter giving you a full